Okay, let's now talk about question number 42. Let RS be the diameter of the circle x square plus y square equals 1, where s is the point 1 comma 0. Let P be a variable point other than R and S and tangents to the circle at S and P meet at the point Q. Right? The normal to the circle at P intersects a line drawn through Q parallel to RS at point E. Then the locus of E passes through the point or points four options are mentioned. This is section 2, multiple answer type. So, question from coordinate geometry. So, let us start with geometry. Drawing a circle centered at origin and radius unity. It is given to me R s is a diameter where point s is 1 comma 0, right. So, clearly this point is s, this point is r, this is x axis, y axis and the origin, right. Next, it says p be a variable point and tangents to the circle at s and p meet at the point q. Let us take a general point on the circle say here. So, drawing a tangent like this and tangent at s like this, these are intersecting at point Q. Point S is known to me 1 comma 0, fine. So, we can say let P meaning this point cos theta comma sin theta. This is clear. Now, tangent at P that is x cos theta plus y sin theta equals 1 and tangent at s that is simply x equals 1. Solving the two equations we can get the point q as on substituting x equals 1 here we get y as 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta. We can put 1 minus cos theta as 2 sin square theta by 2 and here 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 to get the point as 1 comma tan theta by 2, right? We get the point as 1 comma tan theta by 2 as point Q. Next, the normal to the circle at P intersects a line drawn through Q parallel to RS at point E. So, let us now talk about a normal at point P meaning this one perpendicular to this tangent. It is meeting at a line with the line parallel to this R s at a point E. So, write the normal at P meaning y equals point P is cos theta comma sin theta. So, slope is simply sin theta by cos theta. So, this is y equals tan theta into x, right? Now, this line E q, it is parallel to R s means its equation is y equals constant type where this coordinate tan theta will give you the constant, right? So, tan theta by 2, we substitute here for y to get x as tan theta by 2 upon tan theta or simply tan theta by 2 upon 2 tan theta by 2 divided by 1 minus tan square theta by 2 meaning 1 minus tan square theta by 2 upon 2. This is about coordinates of point E for which we have to find the locus. Let us consider point E as h comma k. So, this we are actually having with us as 1 minus tan square theta by 2 upon 2 comma tan theta by 2. Meaning, h is 
वन माइनस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई टू अपॉन टू दैट इज टू एच इक्वल्स वन माइनस टेन स्क्वायर थीटा बाई टू एंड के इज टेन थीटा बाई टू सो क्लियरली वी हैव टू एच इक्वल्स वन माइनस के स्क्वायर और लोकस ऑफ एच कॉमा के इज y square equals 1 minus 2x. So this is the required locus of point E that is h comma k, y square equals 1 minus 2x. Now the question says, which of the following points are lying on this curve? When we put 1 by 3 comma 1 by root 3 here, I can see 1 by root 3 square means 1 by 3, 1 minus 2 by 3. So correct. We, the point 1 by 3 comma 1 by root 3 is there on the curve. Similarly, 1 by 3 comma minus 1 by root 3 will be there because y square term is there, right? B, D are not lying. Hence, we can clearly see options A and C are correct. So, this is clear a question from coordinate geometry, right? So let's take the next question. Okay, let's take the next question from this paper one. The circle C1, x square plus y square equals three with center O intersects the parabola x square equals two y at the point P in the first quadrant. Let the tangent to the circle C1 at P touches other circles C2 and C3 at R2 and R3 respectively. Suppose C2 and C3 have equal radii that is 2 root 3 and centers Q2 and Q3 respectively. If Q2 and Q3 lie on the y axis then four options are given. So let's start this one with little geometry. One circle centered at origin and radius root 3 is given, right? One parabola like this one is given. Now it is given these two are intersecting at some point P, say here. So solving the circle x square plus y square equals 3 and the parabola that is x square equals 2y, substituting it here, we can get the point P simply as root 2 comma 1, right? Since it is in the first quadrant. Now, a tangent is drawn at this point P in this fashion. A tangent is drawn. So, tangent to C1 at P, this circle is C1. We can write this equation as root 2x plus y is equal to 3. Fine. Now, two circles with centers Q2 and Q3 are touching this tangent at two points R2 and R3 as given in this question, right? So, we have two circles touching this equation of line. When a circle is touching a line, Clearly, we can say length of perpendicular from center to the line equals radius, right? So, dropping perpendicular on it from the center of the two circles, let us consider the centers as 0, comma a, some point, because it is given it is lying on the y axis. So, we can write here modulus of 0 plus a minus 3 upon square root of 3 is equal to 2 root 3. So, simplifying we have a minus 3 equals plus minus 6 meaning a can be 9 or minus 3. So, we can clearly see we can write here say point q2 as 0 comma 9 and point q3 as 0 comma minus 3. So, now we have option 1 that is a q2 q3 equals 12 as correct one. Next, 
let us trace it again. One circle is centered at 0, 0,9 with radius say 2 root 3 like this. Another circle centered at 0, minus 3 say here with radius 2 root 3 like this just rough tracing right. Now, R2, R3 are the points of contact with the circles. So, this is Q2, this is Q3, this is R2, this is R3 right. So, length R2, R3 that is the length of this tangent this can clearly be written square root of distance between centers square that is 12 square meaning 144 minus square of sum of radii, radii equal that is 2 root 3. So, this is 4 root 3 square that is 16 3 is a 48 giving me root 96 or 4 root 6. When we look at the option B that is also correct. Next we have to find area of triangle OR2, R3 and area of triangle P, Q2, Q3, OR2, R3, O this one, R2, R3 this one. So, we have to talk about a triangle like this. This line is also touching the circle as drawn previously, right, meaning length of perpendicular from the center to the line that is radius of the circle that is root 3. So, area of triangle is clearly area of triangle O R 2 R 3 half base that is the length R 2 R 3 which is 4 root 6 into the height that is root 3. So, we can simply see here that 4 root 2 into 3 that is so, equals we can clearly see this gives me 2 root 6 into root 3 that is 6 root 2 square units. So, we can see that option C is also correct. Moving to the option D which is talking about area of triangle P, Q2, Q3. This is Q2, this is Q3 and point P the point where we had drawn the tangent, right. So, if I see here as the point of contact fine. So, area of the triangle this one we have to talk about. So, again the simple one the base q2 q3 into the x coordinate into half area of triangle p q2 q3 that is half into 12 into root 2 giving me 6 root 2 square units. So, option D is not correct. So, from the given options we can clearly see A, B, C are correct. So, this is clear. So, a good question from coordinate geometry. Let us move to the next one.